good God morning. The word I have right now is he who is without sin. Cast the first stone. None fell from heaven. Ain't none being kicked back at me. I like to tell people to kick rocks. Ain't none hit me though. No one could throw a stone because we all have sin. Even the heavens above, right? Where there is no sin, right? The heavens above where there is no sin. Where the creator of all creation has the opportunity to throw a big stone and end it all. He didn't. Instead, he sent a lamb. He sent a sacrifice of shalom, peace, his son. Everyone expected a conquering king. Everybody expected a destruction. Everybody just expected Yeshua to come and destroy. That's why they didn't accept him. He said, I came not what to condemn, but to save. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whomever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. He said, I have not come to destroy the world, but to save it through that message. The enemy is spitting fire out of his dragon breath, but I have this weapon against it. Water puts out all fire. Not today, Satan. Because here's why. Because repentance resists the temptation to be the devil, to sin. I've been there. The devil is anger. The sin is anger. The devil is bitterness. Bitterness is sin. Bitterness is the devil. Okay, you get it? So, with the blood of Jesus Christ and the availability for me to say sorry, the water that puts out the flame. The Bible says that the tongue is a flame set on fire, vicious fire. You see all the fires around, the slander. Your opinions are great. But not when it's meant to exalt yourself. See, there's heavy spirits in the land. But to the person that doesn't have an ear, like I used to not have an ear or an eye. Because I couldn't hear and I couldn't see, right? So all I could see was what was around me. But now that I walk by faith and not by sight, I have to ask myself, what is my spirit man telling me? Because my eyes are very deceiving. Because right now I see hell. But in my heart, amongst and in hell, I feel heaven, peace. So, what side of the street do you want to be on today? One side of it is, is you can get your opinion out. You can take all your anger out. Right? And I'm talking to me. You can get all mad. You can get all upset. You can just look down at the, that, that Indian guy in the store and say, who's that? And go back to your country. You can have that Mexican guy that's, that you love that he built your garage. But now because it's hate and division, who does he think he is? He's the same guy that you ate tacos with and he fixed your garage and, you know, helped fix your car, cut your grass. Your brother? Who's that? Who's that black person think he is? Who's that? Bah, 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 who are that? Slavery ended and all that. Have you ever been oppressed? Do you know what kind of stronghold that 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 brings that PTSD, the hurt, the anguish, but more importantly, the curse. Come on. So what we got is mercy, and be more patient with each other. I'm preaching to me right now. I don't even know who's out here. I'm just talking to me. This is me and Holy Spirit. So it's all about decisions, right? Choose this day whom you're gonna serve. Right? So the premise is he who's without sin casts the first stone. Yeshua drew a line in the sand. Will you? Will you? That was his only boundary. <laughs> to not throw a stone if you have sin. <laughs> How can he who has a speck in his eye judge his brother for the same speck? Come on. Hate is hate, right? The word of God says to not repay evil for evil. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Justice is mine. So is George Floyd, who is in heaven. He was a believer. So his message resonated with the heavens because his message was from heaven. Do some research. George Floyd, God bless his soul, 
was a man of peace. He wouldn't want this time to be used to dishonor the president, which is against the word, dishonor their land, dishonor the people. The Bible says that how can you who says you love me but have never seen me say you love me if you hate your brother? Put your stones down because Yeshua has the final say, Jesus. He has the keys to heaven and hell. Will you put water out on the flame of hate, slander, hypocrisy? Will you stand with the word of God? Choose this day. Put your stone down. We love you. Shalom.